Welcome to Mai Tai Gaming. We're continuing our playthrough of Ultimate General American Revolution. Now, last episode, we were able to cap capture Leicester and all of Rhode Island. We do have... We now have an, an item that shows our prisoners and officers held, which is something I have not seen before. Looks like we have 212 in Hartford. It's probably going to be the only uh, area that really has... Oh, 42 in Fort Saratoga. In Fort Ticonderoga. All right. The British have begun to march on Fort Saratoga. We're going to seize the opportunity, march south with these gentlemen. We did sell a bunch of uh, artillery at the end of last episode. I'm actually thinking about selling some of these short brown besses just to raise a, a little bit more funds. Uh, we do have 17. Are we still producing? We're not producing any more of these. Just the civilian muskets. Okay, I'm going to stop producing the cutters. I just realized that they are costing 32,000 gold each, which might be a portion of why we keep running out of money. I, it doesn't show it in the, this expense report, but that seems to be the case. That being the case, maybe I can sell the... Uh, no, I need the wood for the muskets. I need all of this. Okay, so while we march... Uh, to rescue Fort Saratoga, we need to decide how we're going to approach Boston and or Middlesbrough. I do want to let units try to get finish flushing out. I think we're going to have issues with civilian weapons for sure. I wish we had more weapons than that, but let's fight this. All right, does that, that does not yet include our reinforcements. Looks like they're going in for melee. Mercy Otis Warren. Patriot poet Mercy Otis, Otis Warren published her political drama, The Group, Skewering British Colonial Leaders. Warren is a flame supporter of the Boston Tea Party and the boycotts of British imports and urged other women to follow suit. So we get New York and Hatfield support. Very nice. Okay, now we have a battle that we can actually uh, take on. We have the British by about two to one. Okay, it looks like we are starting immediately behind the British. So this could get interesting. We've got our troops holding out in the fort. Here are the British. <laughs> I don't think we could have started any closer to the British than this. I can't even... Uh, we're too close to the edge of the map. I'm going to initially issue a charge command. Which is probably going to rout us. All right, we got their artillery on the run. Let's move everybody forward. Still one more. All right, we're actually going to man the artillery here. Get our artillery moved into place. All right, doesn't look like they're going to attack from that side. So let me move our troops a little better into position. Be amazing if we get a whiff of grape shot here, huh? Okay. All right. I don't think we're gonna get the grape shot, but we do have a bunch of artillery setting up. I do not see a way to group up. So I think this is about the only way I can do this. Just to actually have to select the units. 
All right, we drove them off. Let's keep the artillery firing. And yeah, let's actually, oh, they always retreat that quickly. All right, let's see how this, uh, the British retreat goes. Capturing their supplies. All right, move back up to Fort Ticonderoga. Okay, I'm forming up our troops at Leicester. I'm gonna get them into one unit. Kind of, oh. Um, I just saw some things go into Newport. I am wondering. Okay, I'm not seeing them here. No rum or cigars. But I think I just saw them enter the port of Newport. Interesting. I wonder if that is a bug that those are no longer appearing under our goods tab. I'm not sure. Okay. Either way, I really would like these guys to pick up their provisions. But as you can see, we don't have enough muskets. I think I'm just going to leave this unit of 148 here in Providence. Exit with these four, form them up into a brigade. We're going to do this one right. My plan is to demonstrate to Middlesbrough, see if we can draw off maybe a thousand from Boston. If we can do that, then we decide either to double back, hit Boston, or to fight over Middlesbrough and then Boston. That's gonna be the goal. All right, Prescott, please march the opposite direction. And then we're gonna break you guys out. We don't really have anything else that can Oh, abandoned property. This is going to take from Connecticut. I'll take the 2,500. I need you gentlemen to form up also. And we only outnumber Boston by 800, and they have cavalry. March forward. Let's work on Middlesbrough, see if Boston, we can draw anything out. Okay, proclamation of rebellion. I thought we already got this. Uh, King George III issued a proclamation formally declaring the American colonies to be in a state of rebellion. This proclamation marked a significant turning point in the relationship between the colonies and Britain, and tensions between France and Britain are rising. Oh, if I can knock out that 200... Yeah, let's see how this plays out. Baker falling back. Yeah, let's... Okay, they're pursuing and abandoning Boston. Okay, come on. Give me the battle. Yeah, let's just charge in. Okay, that's a thousand men. They're going to retreat to Hartford. I don't see. Boston's almost out of defenders. Castile, stay there. Prescott, start moving. Because if I have Boston, we can sacrifice anything else in the short term. Okay, it does look like they are pursuing past Hartford. Interesting. I have nothing back here to stop them. All right, ordnance, uh, Project Ordnance Facilities is finished. The artillery chief. Uh, let's go for Henry Knox and the magazine. A new, another general would always be good to have. Looks like we have two days till we get uh, Chief Engineer has a completion. Okay, this is getting worse than I wanted. Let's enter Boston. She's good on provision, supply. Actually, not that large of a workforce. Check up here. Okay, they do appear to be British marching. Might be towards Rice. So I'm going to send Morton over to Fort Rice. I'm assuming we're still... We need to get into a garrison. I guess they're running all the way to New Haven. You get some eyes. Prescott, your condition is nil. Oh, they're going for Boston again. Did we really just lose Boston? Boston's captured, so we got 50 and 20,000. But I have a bad feeling we just lost Boston. They didn't capture it. They just sent us running. 
Oh, that's weird. Uh, Prescott, yeah, I need to hold Boston. And you guys are going to get into right, Baker. Can you not? No idea what's going on with Baker. Yep. All right. They're in Leicester. Come on, Prescott. Get there. Come on. Got the route. They drop some weapons. Uh, Morton, get in. Got quite a bit demonstrating up there. I might just leave Prescott in Boston. Oh, and of course, they're not going to let me capture the supplies unless I'm sitting outside. All right, I need to get our general down here. Some haste. Promise of rank and recognition. British commander has offered our... Our officer a high rank and recognition within his forces as an incentive to change sides, leveraging his skill and experience. Duncan Prescott, officer of Boston in Boston, has betrayed us. Yeah, holding that. Holding. With our newfound money. I'm going to spend, get, let's say, about 500. I'll spend 5,000. Okay. Cannon. We're fine there. Boston, we have a supply line through Leicester. Uh, do I want to do it over here? Actually, let's do it at Providence Infantry Regiment. And we're going to go ahead and go with our professional army forces. Uh, donation, extra 2,500. Nice. Uh, another donation. Uh, let's see here. The Iroquois have sent us 65 civilian muskets. I love these guys. Okay, Baker, can you please just get into Hartford? Or... I don't even know where you're running to now. Bennington was lost. Okay. So I was wrong. They were not marching to Fort Rice. But if they're going to abandon that, let's go get it back. Yep, they're going to march to Fort Saratoga. So I'm going to pull these guys out. To come down here and defend that. At this point, I need to stop the British cavalry somehow. Let Arnold take over this objective. All right, Helms, take on Poolden. Let Baker get the hell out of there. And Morton head here. All right, Salem has 600 troops. Let's check on Middlesbrough here real quick. War! In a stunning turn of events, reports from diplomatic sources indicate that Spain and Miami's, that doesn't help us, have officially entered into a state of war. The tension between them had been simmering for years, but it now appears that hostilities have erupted. All right, some changes. Uh, looks like the French and Miami's got uh, better relations. Everybody else got worse. These are going to be that. 131 soldiers rescued from Bennington Prison. Baker's still moving. This is kind of a mess. Okay, we finished qualified engineers. Well, I'd like to get a refill on ammunition. I think we have to do from the tree here. So we can go ahead and get the hunter rifle started. Now this will allow us to put some really powerful guns in the hands of at least our militiamen or maybe Morgan's riflemen. This is where our situation stands. I just checked the supply routes and Boston is not uh, green. So I need to go after Middlesbrough to get Boston, maybe even Salem. Middlesbrough has about 650. Salem has about 550. Those are both uh, objectives we can take on fairly easily. I do think if we take Salem and maybe Portsmouth, uh, one of those two can be our holding point because I don't think the British are going to come down from Fort Stevens to Leicester. They can't supply it. Um, I think the only reason they marched to Bennington was to cut our supply line. 
So I think I'm going to take Middlesbrough right now. Definitely take Salem, maybe to Portsmouth. That'll allow me to free up some troops to send to New York to help clear up this uh, Arnold situation. I don't want to abandon the forts, but we're the British are just marching in too many different areas for the few regiments that we have there, is what I'm looking at. What's going to happen? We're going to take this unit out, and we're going to take these three units out. Prescott, you don't have an officer. We don't have an officer at this point. We're going to march all of these guys to Middlesbrough. That's our next objective. Uh, Lester, we're going to go ahead, leave Garrison with both of them, form them up into brigade, and march them at least to Hatfield, because now Helms has fallen, is running away. Baker's Baker needs to find somewhere to stop. Okay. Baker, can you actually go to Fort Wright? Uh, no, Bennington. Yeah, Bennington. That makes more sense. Arnold, see if you can capture some supplies. Uh, Scott, get out. Go to Albany. Oh, uh, out, yes. To Albany. Arnold, I don't know if you got that, but you're going to head over here. They have Hatfield. Privateer vessels conducting raids along the British coastline, targeting coastal towns and villages. They captured supplies, weapons, and valuable resources, weakening the support of the British on the home front. 16 provisions. Very nice. Prescott, you did not move because you don't have... Yep, I'm going to have to take this one out, Duez, and march him towards Middlesbrough. Scott, I just need you to fire. I don't need you to charge in all the time. What do we got going on? Hatfield was lost. Albany was lost. Uh, Project Intelligence Agency finished. Oh, we got a couple here. So Quartermaster. We're over here. So I guess we can go to Equipment Committee. Build a horse pasture or grain mill, which does increase uh, provisions by 15%. I think at this point we need grain mill. 101 days. Intelligence Chief. Get research speed or plus three loyalty and research speed. I'd like to get down here to Talmadge and maybe a newspaper. So we've got to expand outside of this. So yeah, let's go with Intelligence Network. Next one is Morgan's Rifleman at 41 days. Although we do have the reputation, we can just knock that. Yeah, let's... Uh, I'm going to spend the reputation to go ahead and get Morgan's Rifleman in zero days. I need Morton to get in there. Okay, I'm not sure if this is enough. I don't have the commanders to do it. Uh, hold on. Let's see here. It looks like... We may have, yes, Hosea Greenleaf. I think we, we're going to go ahead and get that. Let's fight this battle. What do we got over here? Three units, low ammunition. We're the British. Oh, so they're running. Do as go ahead and take Middlesbrough. Jimenez, Reynolds, and Greenleaf. You guys can head up towards Boston. And actually, the commander needs to head over here so I can see what the heck's going on. Scott, see if you can capture those supplies back. Uh, Morton, head to Kingston. Don't know where Bork is headed. It does appear that this unit's almost constituted, or the Second Continental Congress issued a proclamation known as a declaration on the causes of, and necessity of taking up arms. This document outlined the colony's reasons for taking up arms and the defense of their rights. We don't get anything for that. Okay, so Godfrey here is in good shape. I'm going to march him this way. Reynolds, get in. Greenleaf, get in. I'm in as into Boston. Do as... You know what? I'm finding that stamina may apply actually more. Conditioning is just horrible. 
Morgan's Rifles. Let's see what, what we've got going on here. Uh, let's go ahead and get the stamina. These are, oh, they're outfitted with the Hunter Rifles already. It's only 120 men though. Okay, so pull these guys. I need Godfrey actually to head to Hartford, Connecticut. Morton, you're gonna get in the garrison. Scott, in the garrison. Arnold, keep marching this way. Once Godfrey gets over here with Morgan, then I'm gonna take on Bartholomew. It's the first time that we have will be using uh, regular troops. Conditioning's medium, morale's high. We have ammunition and supply. Castile should not matter too much. Okay, we've got the British here. We've got, uh, this is Castile's force, all running away. So this is the force we're actually gonna be fighting with. These are our regulars. Um, so we've got Morgan, Daniel Morgan's troops. His have hunter rifles, which is a long rifle uh, with a rifled barrel, longer than a civilian musket. Uh, so very accurate, but very slow reload. We have two units with those. The rest do sport civilian uh, muskets. I'm gonna join these two units Combine them. We do have the artillery with six pounders. Right now, the British have the upper hand. I'm hoping we can change that. Since they are marching on us. And we have the general. It would appear, okay, let's see if I can get, yeah, they're going to try and take this force out, but that's also dividing what they're sending against me, which could be supremely useful. All right, I'm going to need to send you guys over here. I need to send you guys over here. Morgan's rifles are kind of decimating the British here. Just need to actually be firing on them. Definitely getting the better of that exchange. I've got troops all the way out there. I need to start. Running. It's kind of expected. At least they're tying some British forces up. Come on, guys. Can't just run like that. I need that artillery on them. Oh. This may not be winnable for us.
Yes, we're going to leave the battlefield. Casualties were similar, but we weren't doing enough to get ahead. And I've only got the two units of riflemen. We can't even produce those weapons anymore. Spreading the vision. Recruiting officers harness the power of the press. Publishing pamphlets, newspapers, and posters that depict the brut brutality of British rule and the promise of an independent nation. These materials reach the masses, inspiring more individuals to join the cause. Got level 39-something. Yes, we got commanders. Morgan, Harlan... Uh, we'll apply that. Is Morgan not in command of Morgan's rifles? All right, you guys need to get into Hartford. That was a little stronger than I anticipated. Uh, we should have some extra forces over here in Boston. I'm going to get uh, Mr. Grainliff out and march him to Hartford. Seem to give the... Uh, Castile, can you please get to New Haven? With all due haste. Morgan, get in the city. All right, we got a Providence Warehouse started. Provision storage, that's nice. Morgan's Riflemen's is finished. Do we go ammunition? I really want to get these Dragoons. We also get uh, the Short Brown Bess. It's really where I want to go with this. I don't really have the ability to field another regiment right now. I'm going to field some uh, Fusiliers. I know I can only do 100. Let's go ahead and get 3-pounder. Supply stretcher, yes. And we'll go civilian musket. I know I'm going to need to buy some civilian muskets. Let's just buy them all for 5,000. Sell one four pounder. And actually, probably sell, let's say, six to build up some cash back in the, the, the war chest. Okay, there in New Haven, the British are marching north. I think all of our units are at least safe. Do you want Arnold to... Oh, I hear gunfire somewhere. Yeah, Greenleaf. I need you down here. With that, we're going to begin marching Morton uh, to Fort Rice. Out of Bennington, we're going to take this uh, Richardson. March him to Fort Rice. You're going to Albany. Baker, you're going back to Albany. Keep hearing gunfire from somewhere. Yep, get in there. Not enough wagons, not enough muskets. Looks like we need one more wagon. I wonder if produce... Oh, we can do two per day. So we'll produce uh, the wagons. Uh, we'll just produce two. And that should fill that out. Civilian muskets, there's none even to buy. Um, this is where I'm going to leave this episode. We have captured Middlesbrough and Boston. We lost Hatfield and Hubberton. Hatfield, I think, is going to be my next strike. Uh, I definitely think that uh, we can probably pull Duyez out of Middlesbrough and move him to Boston. Maybe take a troop or two out of there. Oh, Helms. Probably need to say... That's, maybe that's where the gunfire was headed coming from. Uh, the troops in Hartford looking pretty good. Just short of weapons all over the place. Uh, Morgan's rifles, we may even need to bring one of those, uh, get them without the uh, hunter rifle until I can start producing those. But if you've enjoyed this series, subscribe. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, leave a like. Give me comments. Let me know how you think the campaign's going, what you think we should do differently. Uh, Canada is definitely in our future. Thank you for watching. Till next time.